So y'all, this is Aaron from Team FTS. Uh, this is my post YCS Miami video. Uh, went in, not knowing what would happen, but I ended up going six and three. I'm gonna show y'all the deck list, and then I will tell y'all what happened <clears throat> overall. So yeah, uh, three armor, triple accelerator. Uh, I only run two arsenal because it's a pretty dead late game. So I mean. The only reason why I really run it at all is just because I want to get armor as early as possible. And running at 3, I usually um, have the problem of getting duality and this at the same turn. And they both do the same thing, although one doesn't allow the other to do it. So I don't like getting both of those at the same turn. Double MK. It's free extra summon. Uh, that's it for the, gar uh, the gear. Yeah. The car carry is the level 4 tuner. It's got a big defense, so you can set it. Hopefully it doesn't get killed. Level 3 tuner. Whenever there's no more special, change the battle position of any monster on the field so you can change your opponent's stuff. Uh, Non-tuner, car curry that you can special summon with, Beret and Beretto. 2100 attack, so it gets over TK, 4 stars. Um, it's pretty huge for a 4 star monster, you can just normal summon out. But that's the answer to TK, because TK really hurts this deck. And then double fortress, one gear frame. This is for late game, um, you've already went through your resources, you haven't got your pot, pot of duality, or pot of avarice yet. You can search this with gear Gant, and then just go with those and then personal tech to birdman birdman goes off with a lot of plays this is my tuner that I don't have to waste a normal summon for which is really really good um, you don't have to go into gear yet as much with my with my deck so it's easier to OTK you can OTK earlier before your opponent sets up all you gotta do is have these um, so literally I need armor so you have already have two armors you flip summon it for the third or just for the second, doesn't matter. Special summon, special summon, return to hand, special summon, then special summon it back. So that was a free tuner, you haven't wasted your normal summon, and then when you go beret, <clears throat> or the last beret or beretto, you still have a normal summon um, from the draw you get from beretto. So it combos really well. This also combos with um, MK and gear frame, so you normal summon with MK, special summon armor, Balance our um, MK, do stuff, or the gear frame, balance, normal summon gear frame, get your Machina Fortress, balance gear frame, and that's your cost for Machina Fortress. So it comes really well. That's the monster. I didn't have any problem with the monster lineup. It was really good, and I'm happy with the choices I made. Uh, spells, double lance. This is to protect um, Beret and Burrito whenever you're comboing so they won't bottomless it. Uh, double duality. This is just to add consistency and to make it more likely that you'll open up with an armor first turn. Double MST, get rid of problematic stuff, chain to Abyss Fear, so that, you know, Mermails don't have an edge over you. My staples, I choose this over Heavy Storm, because this stops more plays than a Heavy Storm will stop any day, because this is more versatile. Heavy Storm is sometimes dead, especially if you draw into a late game, and I hate Heavy Storm in, in the first place, so this card stops every deck. Heavy Storm's just, like, iffy, and I don't like Heavy Storm. Pot of Avarice, Limit Removal, this, you use it the same way windups use it, you just recycle your um, X Seeds and your Synchros late game, uh, just so you can combo out again. Limit Removal is uh, your OTK machine. Traps, MVP trap of my deck, which won me a lot of games um, over the tournament. Compulse uh, saves you, it also um, lets you push for games, so it's pretty good. The Prison. It was a good ass card. Didn't I mean all it did was help, so it's a good ass card. Torrential, like another thing, keeps if you have a low monster count, your opponent has a high monster count, they spam out, you can torrential. Um get sacrificing an armor play for to get rid of their cards is totally worth it. So torrential's never dead. Solemn warning, solemn judgment. Um if they end up duke um putting bring this down to one, then I'm probably gonna tech in on, on Mind Crush or Black Horn of Heaven. Or another compulse. I haven't made it on my mind crush is good because I always end up siding it in anyway. So I don't know. We'll see what happens, but I'm probably just gonna swap swap this in for another compulse because compulse is amazing. And starlight because I hate heavy storm. To the extra deck. All right, extra deck. The threes. This is just to get rid of BLS basically. And then Zen mains is to steal. Like if I'm playing in Zector, like a monster reborn, their Hornet. Normal summon an MK. Um, summon an armor, set armor, and then overlay for this just to take their hornet. Fours. Book of Moon just to get rid of problematic shit and make their, you know, big shit go away. 
this is to get rid of Zen mains and my stroke or like Spirit Reaper or some shit like that. Gear Gants are amazing. They just give you a level 4 lower machine. So you can search for gear frame, search for a tuner. That's what these are for. I only run 2 because 3 is completely unnecessary because I maybe will summon 1 through the game. Big ones, big eye, big eye, self explanatory. It's almost 50 bucks right now. And then Heretic Sun Dragon Overlord just gets rid of problematic shit. Sevens. Beret. Once per turn, changes the battle position. So it's not just a when it's summoned thing. So if it survives the field and they put, just set a monster, you can change the, change the battle position in that monster. And if it's like a marshmallow or a fucking spirit reaper or something, then they're going to die. I never used this to the tournament because I didn't need it, but this is just in case you're getting your ass whooped. Uh. Um, two Burritos, this Draw Power, Scrap, Stardust. Um, do this before you combo so they can't Torrential. Scrap gets rid of problematic shit that just gets in the way. I mean, self explanatory. <coughs> Side deck. <coughs> Triple Macro. This is for Mermails and Insectors. Worked really well. I won both my the Mermail. I won two Mermail matches, and um, I won because of this card primarily. Trouble Trap's done. This is for, <clears throat> for like, any trap-heavy deck, such as Heroes, um, Rabbit, anything that just has an asshole to traps. You notice somebody has a lot of traps. Instead of doing a Kree because I run a lot of traps, I'll just do this, and it stuns their shit for the turn, so I can, I can pick when I want to use it, and I, don't, I still keep my traps alive. Double Gozen Match. I didn't really sat into this much because I kept playing decks that played the same attribute, but this is mainly for, like, wind-ups and Rabbit and stuff like that. Mischief, windups, and rabbit. Anything that exceeds or synchros a lot, um, that's pretty auto play. It stops. Underrated card. I'd strongly suggest you play this card. So Phoenix Chain was for Fire Fire Fist, which I didn't actually end up playing, but it's okay. I mean, it works against anything. Phoenix Chain's a good ass card. Double Mind Crush. These were actually Forbidden Dresses, which was um, an error in my judgment. I chose to try dress because I like dress a lot, but it didn't. I didn't, never end up putting it in because I'd rather have other stuff. Mind Crush, you can always side into anything against anybody because everyone searches, except for like Dino Rabbit. So everyone searches. This is good. So like they do their, I don't know, you're playing windups. They go factory, just Mind Crush, whatever they just searched, and hopefully there's another one in their hand. You can just hit like two rats and then they're fucked. And then one of these for decks that play a lot of, um, like, TKs or shit that you don't like that you need to get over. It's got 21 on attack. This is primarily for TK, so if you're playing a Chaos deck or, like, a Rabbit deck that could side into another TK, then this is your answer. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, told y'all I was going to tell y'all about the tournament. So, uh, like I said, I went X3. The tournament at the start of it had... 10 or 1,706 people. Um, it was out of nine nine rounds. You have to go X2 just to or to top because I don't know. That's just how it ended up working. Um, round one, I played Machina Gadget, and I lost because of a DQ. I got um, I started the game with too many cards in my deck because uh, part of my side deck got mixed in to my main deck and then didn't notice, and I got DQ'd for that. So I lost match one. Just unlucky. Um, match two, I played X Sabers. The dude was real cool. He played. I mean, he knew how to play X Sabers, obviously. But um, I, I ended up winning game one out of TK. Game two was a grind game, and he won through Miss Worm. I mean, I couldn't really do shit shit about Miss Worm because I run bottomless and compulse, and I had a compulse, which just didn't do anything because it's Miss Worm. And then <clears throat> game three, I OTK. Uh, round three, I played Drain Heroes. Ground or game one, Skill Drain kind of just kicked my ass. Game um, game two and three I OTK. Game three I OTK because the trap's done. He um had a skill drain on the field, and I just didn't have an MST, so I just waited. Um, he kept attacking into my my armor, and I couldn't do shit. So I just trap stun, uses the effect, flip summoned it. I already I drew into an accelerator, so I just accelerate, accelerate, and then he of course was trying to waste time trying to call judge and shit for trap stun versus trap stun versus skill drain. Didn't help him at all, so I ended up winning. Uh, round four. I played Mermails. Um, he slow played really, really, really annoyingly. Like he had a 10 minute turn and then like a 9 minute turn. He was like being a real dick about it, but oh well. Game one, he slow played where we. I ended up winning. I told him, but he slow played into um, to where we finished game one at 13 minutes left and like 
if we would have went to game three, then we wouldn't have had time for it. But anyways, he slow played, and I OTK'd him um, turn three. So that's how slow he played, and it was, like, annoying to me. But game two, <clears throat> I almost OTK'd. I went combo. He only had two cards set, and I was like, I don't give a fuck what they are because I have... I went into Stardust, so I had, like, Beredo, or Beret, 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 Stardust, Beredo, and I think a Gearian, maybe. So I was attacking, 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 and he had two Bisphere's set, but I attacked through both of them, and then he tried to, um, and I still attacked, stacked through it, and then he ended up living through with, like, 1,200 life points left or something, and, uh, he tried to drop Megalo, and I was just, like, saw morning, and then he just kind of got shit on, and next turn I just finished the game by attacking him directly. So that was the first four. As of right then, I'm only I'm X one. Then round five, I played Jeff Jones. Um, he played that the Mermel deck that everybody's all hype about. Everybody's talking about. Everybody likes a lot. Well, I played it and it was fucking amazing. He E two owed me, but the, both games I got him down to like a thousand life points and then nine hundred life points, and I just couldn't finish through because he dropped Gores, and Gores is a good ass card. <laughs> but he's a good ass player. So anyways, I lost to him, which. Isn't that bad because Mermel is a bad matchup for me. And then round six, I played Insectors and lost. Uh, Hornet beat me game one. Game two, I OTK'd him. And then game three, he got me down to 900 and then used Black Ship. Because I had like, I comboed out and almost OTK'd him. I had him down to 600 life points, but he dropped Trag on the last attack or something like that. And then um, he just went Black Ship to win the game. And I was just like, can't do anything about it. Uh, then I won out. So that puts me at X3. Um, I was 3-3. Three and three, And then I won out. Uh, played agents, OTK'd him. Solemn Morning stopped his, stopped his gores. He couldn't do anything about that. Um, then game two, I OTK'd him because he couldn't put any monsters on the field because I had macros. So like he'd set a monster and I would just attack into it. It'd be a banish. So he couldn't he couldn't have anything to do with um, his Hyperion. And then he just tried to use Hyperion as a beast stick and I deprisoned it. He couldn't do anything about it. So I just OTK'd him. Round eight, I played windups. Uh, Compulse kind of saved the game. Like, he tried to combo out, and I just compulsed his Mighty before he can do anything, and he just got shit on. <coughs> um, and then game two, Trap Stun. He tried to Torrential, and I Trap Stunned, and then he couldn't do anything about it. Because he had, like, a Mirror Force and a Deep Prison, but Trap Stun saved me, basically. And then, so I just OTK'd. Um, and then round nine, I played another Morel player. Game one, I OTK'd. He tried to, um... Ow, shit, my bad team. He tried to, uh, I was OTKing, so he was taking away his life points, taking away his life points, and at the beginning of it, he didn't see, he didn't think I would have OTKed him if he didn't drop Gores, and so, like, I was attack, attack lowest to highest, like, what a player is supposed to do if you think the other person has Gores, um, attack 25, 26, 26, 28, and then on the last one, I think that might have been game, but then, um, right when he was about to be zero, he says, no, nah, I'm only gonna take 25. And I was like, no, you can't do that. You've already taken away your life points. You let me attack. You, because you can't count doesn't mean that um, that you can just take everything back. He's like, yes, I can. Don't be a dick about it. And then Judge was like standing behind him. He didn't know it. So he was just like, no, you can't do that. That's cheating. <laughs> and then, um, so yeah, he lost the game one because of that. He's pretty mad, pretty salty about it. But I was like, dude, just like not my fault. You can't be a dick and just let me attack you all the way through and then get mad because you don't know how to time a gores. Um, and then game two. I sighted in macro and saw it firsthand. Uh, he went first, set oh, set some card. I MST or I didn't MST. It was a sphere. Um, I uh, set on all, all three, uh, and then set an armor, and then set go, and then he like flips sphere. I don't know why he didn't do this at the end of my main phase of turn one, but I just MST'd it, and I already had already acted um, macro during his standby phase, so he was basically just shit out of luck and just got OTK'd get a turn two so I mean it's the struggle but <laughs> it's all good so yeah that's um what happened yeah at YCS Miami for me I went X3 with uh, DQ lost to Jeff Jones and then lost to Insectors I mean I'm supposed to lose Insectors it just sucks I couldn't push through for that last game I had him down to 600 life points oh well learning experience and uh yeah so we're gonna have other videos for what I think we're gonna do Dino Rabbit deck profile. What happened with Jet? So check that out. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about my build. Uh, yeah.